Yo, what is good, Price fam? How are you doing today, man? So today, I got something different, guys. So this would be my very first Hulk action figure. And um, it was a long time ago. I saw one that was at a Boys and Girls Club. It was so, so dope. Um, I think it was the first um, Hulk figure of the Incredible Hulk was amazing and then I went to McDonald's and I had an abomination but they also had another one they also had Hulk as well and I didn't get that one but I did get like this kind of vinyl um, kind of shifting kind of card of Hulk it wasn't the same um, but I managed today after those years have gone by to find this guy um, now, I didn't do my research before I did this video of uh, what kind of Hulk figure this is. Um, hold on a second. Let me go do the research right now. I'll be right back. So, guys, I just tried to research this guy, and um, I guess I can't find him. But uh, what I did find yesterday was him. Um, this is a Hulk I have never seen before. The one I was talking about was uh, Action Brother, like I said, from the Incredible Hulk. Um, I don't even think I can find, uh, oh, that was lightning, uh, I thought something else happened, but, um, I couldn't find this on the internet, but the one I was talking about was from the Incredible Hulk and all of that, but, you know, I found this guy, I was like, you know, I've never had a Hulk figure of my own, I, I've had many, I have a mini fig, I have a big fig version of Hulk and a mini figure version, but I've never had a Hulk that, never had a Hulk action figure. Well, no, that's a lie. I did do a video. I had, I did have a Hulk action figure. I think I gave it to my brother. So this will be my second Hulk action figure. So I've had a Hulk action figure, but it wasn't. It was nothing like this. This is Hulk. Not Professor Hulk, what I did in a um, long, long time ago, last year. I'm talking about like the real Hulk, like this right here. Hulk, dark green, face all of that um but i would say starting off looking at this very nice unfortunately it's chipped on the purple paint back there but this is also a used figure so uh, i got this like i said i got this from vintage stock uh, like i got the highbrow highbrow figure from vintage stock but i got this from vintage stock um they also did have a Mastro figure that I was interested in getting, but I was like, do I need Mastro if I already have the Incredible Hulk? So, I don't think I'm going to get Mastro, but like I said yesterday, I think I did find Hot Rod. So, I might see if I can get Hot Rod and do a video on that, but that's not Hulk. This is the Hulk. Uh, I would say very nice paint applications, uh, very nice tones of green on the back and on the right here on his collarbone on his biceps on his legs i really like the veiny i like the vein work on this it's beautiful this is just a gorgeous figure um i was thinking about giving it to my brother but i'm like you know actually i might want to keep this one because this one is uh pretty pretty nice um also i like this feature that it has it go if you bend his chest down he doesn't have any articulation in, the, in here but if you don't bend it down it looks like he's yelling or screaming or roaring whatever Hulk does uh, that's pretty awesome I like that feature uh, there's not really much I can say about it very nice paint piece. very nice paint applications very nice with the veins it goes from here to his wrist all the way from his legs all the way down to his feet even the feet have really nice detailing and veins uh they, they really went all out for this figure it's really nice um now for articulation this guy has i would say maybe i want to say a lot maybe 15 or 20 points of articulation uh, nothing in the head. Oh, well, the head does look up. Well, that's because of this feature here. But he can look up. But he can look down. 
Um, uh, so let's move on to the arms. He does have, he does go all the way out here. Then it goes back down. He does have a full 360 that goes away with his shoulder. No butterfly joint. He does have bicep swivel. Uh, I think a single bend at the elbow. Um, and he also does have wrist articulation, which goes all the way around with nothing left and right or up and down. Um, and for the torso, of course, I showed you guys this earlier. He does have that, and that's it, unfortunately. Um, his leg, he can't go forward that far. He can't go back at all. Um, he does have thigh swivel. He does have a single bend at the knee. He does, his foot can go all the way up, can't go back, and he does have pivoting. Um, but overall, for this figure, it's pretty decent. Um, is, is this my favorite Hulk figure I've seen? No. But it will do for me. Um, I only imagine Hulk being something like this. Uh, you know, being green, no glasses, not being smart, just being all angry, very motivating to destroy everything in his way, no matter what, but he's also an Avenger, so he has to save the world, so I also imagine Hulk being that, but not being what they showed in Endgame. I was so disappointed that they did that, that was so stupid, but you know, it's okay, it's okay, I'm glad to have this. Um, I'm very excited for She-Hulk, and hopefully maybe Bruce might go back to being, you know, being the Hulk, not being Professor Hulk, Smart Hulk, but um, that's all I really have for you guys, I wanted to show you guys this, I would say 9 out of 10 for paint applications, uh, 3 out of 10 for movement, or um, joints, moving, I would say overall 6 out of 10 for effort. Um, say pretty decent of a figure. Um, not my favorite, but it's Hulk to me. If he can yell, if he has the hand movements of, you know, destroying something, and he has a little bit of articulation, pretty decent. So, this is Hulk, and I'm Tyree. You guys surprised from and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.